Hey y'all, let's take a look at probability. This is the part one. And definition of probability is basically, well, it's just this. Let's just put it out there. Probability is the number of outcomes that you want divided by the number of outcomes that are totally possible. Okay, so it's always a fraction. The, the most a probability can ever be is basically one as a fraction or 100%. Okay, the fraction that it could be depends on the possibilities that are out there. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. What is the probability of rolling a die and getting a number greater than four? Well, you know, I mean, here's a die. Uh, there's, it looks kind of like this or something, you know, I don't know, was there two on the other side? Let's see, there's a three here, I don't know. Let me, let me make it a one, I don't know, anyway. Um, what's the probability of getting a number greater than four? Well, the possibilities of greater than four are five and they are six, right? And the definition of probability is the outcomes desired, there are two of them, divided by the outcomes possible. Well, the outcomes possible are one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So you have two up top, you have three on the, or excuse me, six on the bottom. So two out of six is your probability, or if you want to reduce the fraction, that's one out of three. There we go. That's your probability is one out of three chances. All right, there's another one. There's a deck of cards. We've all seen that, right? There are 52 cards in it, standard deck. Uh, they have 13 spades, 13 hearts, 13 clubs, and 13 diamonds total. Right? 13 times four is 52. Fred tears up the ace of spades in a deck of cards, shuffles the rest of the deck, and randomly draws a card. What's the probability that the card is a spade? Well, if Fred tears up the ace of spades, how many spades does he have left? He has 13 minus one or 12, right? What's the probability that he, the card is a spade? Well, the definition of probability is the, you know, the outcomes that you want divided by the number of outcomes there are, that are possible. Now that he has thrown out the, the ace of spades, there are no longer 52 cards in this deck. There are, hey Siri, what's 52 minus one? Minus one is 51. Okay, she's right, or he's right. Okay. So in other words, the possibilities total that you have now are 51. So that's your probability that you're going to draw a spade if you just shuffle them or whatever. Okay. Now, a lot of times you can reduce these fractions, and it's possible in the back of the book you're going to see an answer. You're going to go, what? I got this, and they got a different answer. Well, just reduce the fraction. What goes into both 12 and 51? Three. Okay. Because 5 plus 1 is 6, that's divisible by 3. 3 into 51 is 17, so there you go. Just a little less than 1 out of 4 chances. Okay, all right. Well, let's try another one. One die is red and the other is green. Both dice are rolled. What's the probability of getting a sum of 7? Okay, we don't even care that the die is red and the other die is green, right? It, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, as long as they're, you know, I guess they're you know, fair dice or whatever. What's the probability of getting a sum of seven? Well, hmm, here's the interesting thing. All right, what are the, what's the probability of getting, well, you, you tell me, how can we get a seven? We can go, we can get one is two, let's say this is a red, that's two, okay. There's our red and there's our green, right? We could go, uh, there's a two and we could get a five, that's a G. We could go, I don't know, a one and a six, right? We could go a three and we could, oh, get a four. Those are ways to get them. Oh, you can also go backwards, right? If this is a five, that's a two. If this is a six, that's a one. And if that's a four, that's a three. Those are the only ways you can get a seven by rolling two dice, right? Okay, now the question is, in other words, so the outcomes that we want are one outcome, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's gonna be six over something. That's the fraction, that's the probability of getting a seven. Now the only thing is we need to figure out how many total things can we get if we roll the dice. Okay, well let's do, do it this way. If you roll a, a red die and let's say it's a one, you could get this possibility or you could go one and a one or you could go one and a two, you could go one and a three, one and a four, one and a five and one and a six, right? Those are the possibilities if you roll two dice and the red die is a one, okay? Well you can do the logic here, right? 
This whole setup is going to be exactly the same thing if you roll a 2 with the red, and then you could have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 3 in the red, and 4, and so on. So each one of these is 6 of them. But you, that's a red with a 1. Well, you could also do a red with a 2, a red with a 3, and so on. So there'll be 6 different possibilities times 6, which is 36. In other words, if you roll 2 dice, there are 32, excuse me, 36 possibilities of rolling 2 dice, which is basically 6 on one die and six on the other die multiplied together. So six over 36 reduced is one out of six chances, okay? So that's your probability of rolling a seven. There you go, okay. All right, well, one die is red and one other is green. Both dice are rolled. What's the probability of getting a sum of four? Well, we already know that the probability of rolling two dice, there are 36 things that can happen, right? So your, your job is to figure out, okay, now, what, is, what are the chances of my rolling a four? Okay, well, let's take a look. If, you had a, if your red die were one, the green could be three, right? How about if your red, what, you tell me, what are the other possibilities here, right? You could go, well, if the red die is three, then the green could be one, of course. Or there's one more, which is two and two, right? Okay, there you go. So those are the three chances out of the 36 that you could get a sum of a four. So reduce that fraction and it's gonna be one over 12. So your probability of rolling a four if you roll two dice is one out of 12, okay? About 8%, so anyway. All right, let's try the practice problems on page 348. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, there are 16 marbles in a bowl. Three red, six black, and seven green. Jimmy draws a marble from the bowl. What is the probability that the marble is either red or black? Okay, and don't forget, your, your, uh, you know, the, the method you find, the probability, is you go, okay, all the things that you want are on top of the fraction. All the things that could happen are on bottom of the fraction. So we already know that there are 16 marbles in, the, in this whole bowl, right? So that's going to be the bottom. And they're asking, what's the probability that marble is, marble is either red or black? Where we go, there's three red and there's six black, three plus six is nine. So the probability that Jimmy draws a red or black marble from the bowl is nine sixteenths. So there we go, okay. Pause it and try this one. All right, the probability of getting a sum of 11. We already know that if we roll two dice, the possibilities are 36. Now you tell me, what are the possibilities of a red and a green die and that the sum is 11? Well. You know that one of those is going to be the red is six and the green is five, right? The other possibility is could be the red is five and the green is six. And really, I mean, I mean, what are the two numbers add up to eleven? Eight and three. There's no eights on a die. Seven and there's no seven on a die. So I mean, that's it. So there's only two possibilities. Two out of thirty-six. Reduce the fraction. This is what you're going to find in the back of your book. Is one out of eighteen is the answer. So there we go. Okay. Have a great day, guys. See y'all next time. Take care. Getting close to the end. Almost getting there. Can you, can you like feel it? Ah, oh, there we go. See ya.